all, this is Eliane, and today we're going to see what's inside the computer. If you're curious like me and want to see what's inside your case, make sure to unplug all the cables to discharge any static built up. Now we're gonna open it. Oh, ta da! We can see this big electronic board here. It connects all the computer parts together. It's the mother of all. Let's call it the motherboard. This is a big cooling fan. Let's see who's underneath it, who's too hot and like to cool down. This metallic ceramic square is the CPU or Central Processing Unit. Its nickname is Processor. It's the brain of the computer. Like the human brain, it is he who carries the commands and control all the activities of the computer, as for example when you press a key or start an application. But the computer also has a short temporary memory and a long permanent memory. The temporary memory is the RAM, random access memory. This is the RAM. It stores data or programs while they are currently running. But once the power is off, it forgets everything and the content is lost. Measured in gigabyte, by adding more memory, you can do more things at once. Well, where is the long-term memory? The long-term memory is the hard disk. The hard disk, as you can see, it's bigger than the RAM, 100 and even million times bigger. Data is recorded magnetically on a circular disk. The faster the hard drive, the faster your computer can start up and load programs. The neighbor of the hard drive is the optical drive. Okay, the optical drives allow us to read optical discs like CDs, DVDs, and Blu-rays. The eyes of the computer, the video card, it enables you to see on the monitor. The ears of the computer, a sound card, so that you can hear the sounds and music from your computer, and it connects the headphone and the microphone. The social part of the computer is the network card. It enables you to connect to the network and to access the internet. Hmm. To feed the computer, we need the electricity. The power supply here gives the required amount of power to the computer components. It converts AC current from the wall outlet to the DC current needed by the computer. Who's hiding there behind the cables? It's the battery. The battery is responsible to feed the real-time clock of the computer and the configuration memory. Those are the major components inside the computer. Thank you for watching and meeting you in another video.